if you knew how many times I failed. Oh yeah. Way. Bit on the edge there. Enjoying the picnic area down there, which is halfway up the mountain. Right. Oh, oh come on. Man. No. All I needed was just a couple more feet. I'm gonna go back and do that again. Okay, so I don't need to go too mad at the start there. But this bit now, I'm going to get up on the pedal. Oh, yes. Yes. I did it. <laughs> I am celebrating. Just powering up. And then as you come here, just start standing up on the pedals at the saddle. Just lift the front wheel a little bit. Power down. Here's my tire, tread down that. Avoid that rock there. Come up here. <sighs> Trying to laugh five, six times I couldn't do it. <sighs> I did it. Little winds. Then there is this nasty bit here as well that comes after it. And uh, I think I'm just going to go to the left there. Yeah. <sighs> like. Nearly went over. If I could have just pulled the back wheel up. That is hard. Maybe I just kept my weight too forward. Bit there. A pedal, you can't pedal because of this, see? So I'm actually hitting. I think that's one for another day. For me, it's about getting up the hill, you know, face these little challenges, because that's what makes you better, I think. <laughs> I definitely feel better mentally for doing the rock garden. Right. I'm going to have to bleed my dropper, it is coming up really slowly, which is a shame. bleeding it once a month now I'm pretty sure there might be a little hole or something in the in the hose oh so I'm gonna have a look at that there look ah oh dear right then we got the uh, top road to do now the top path and then we're on the descent we're at the top of the mountain so I've got to be honest uh, nice climb, weather's just right, there's a little bit of a breeze. Right, time to put the knee pads on. Whew. Right, so... Airstream 2, now Airstream 2 is the black one, with the jumps, so I'm going to give that my best. Pedal stroke in there. Quite windy. Ugh. 
let's open up the shock and fork fully now. I didn't want it too wallowy up there because of the jumps. Pretty windy though. Oh, big rock smashed up on my foot there. Great. There you go. Up to the climb now. <sighs> Lovely. My blinking reverb though. It's not going up. The woods now. A bit cooler in here. Let's enjoy this. Let's give it a go. That's a fast bit now. Oh. Get a saddle down. Actually, you leave it up. Get to the left. Pretty <sighs> fast, firm there. <sighs> no point going too mad. It all comes to a stop here at the gate. There you go. Uh, with my uh, reverb, not playing game today, which is a pain in the ass. All right, got the saddle pushed right down now, manually. There's absolutely nothing happening with that reverb. It's not like I had any problems with it last weekend. Have bike park wheels. Could be atmospheric or just leaking of fluid.
I think I will be bleeding this reverb when I get on. Could do it after work tomorrow. See the one or the other. It has been sat in the bike room for a week, not being used. So what could have happened is had a few cold mornings. It could have done something on those cold mornings. You can just make out the trail that I've done. Got some people down there about to do wacko jacko. Oh, so I got my saddle up, I can't actually lower it right now. I'm just gonna keep it up because I've got a climb coming up now. Just like being on a gravel bike. Crazy stuff. There's all the local built stuff down there on the left. That is really steep. You just basically slam your saddle as far as it'll go because you ain't going to be doing any climbing down there. I wonder how quickly the e-bike got at this climb. I know for me it's going to be a quite a long affair. I'm going to have to lower the saddle. Yep, it is warm. Right, so pretty sketchy because the rocks are wet. So it's not going to be as fast and grippy as last time I was there. And I'm running a bit of extra PSI in my front wheel. So I've got a tube in there. And I do not want to pinch flat. That's one thing. I'd rather run the extra pressure and then take a bit of air or uh, damping out of the, uh, the fork.
Crikey. What's going on with that back wheel? Really moving around. Oh. Fly, spat it straight back out, so it should be all right. Oh. More flies than usual for this time of year, though. I say that's about the third fly that has hit me in the face in the last 10 minutes. So, when it was like that last week at Bike Park Wales, it's just I think the weather. They've been multiplying and multiplying exponentially. There's been a lot of flying ants and all that sort of stuff as well. And when it rained the other day, there were clouds of midges. Like literally, you could see them like clouds just hanging around the wet areas. it now so pulled out this cable here looks very dodgy yeah might have to redo that cable right in there with some new fluid just gonna do the same here as well this I'm gonna screw this out to the speed dial plunge this now and then pull on that I'm pulling on this one this way loose just from the bumpy terrain and that. That is strange. Pressing this lever and pulling up. You can see a bubble coming out there, that. Cut another bubble. Pushing it. And we're all the way. Oh, there's quite a few bubbles there, that. Put the hole. Give this a clean off. Out. Turn of the post. Yep. There we go. All sorted. 